CDC's 500 Cities has expanded to places. Available for the first time for smaller cities and rural areas, the groundbreaking Places data informs action to improve health for millions of people. The interactive map allows users to explore health estimates for the entire U.S. by county, by place, which refers to a city, township, or village, by census tract, or neighborhood, and zip code tabulation area, which is a measure of population, with defined boundaries used for the census. Unlike zip codes, zip code tabulation areas stay the same for 10 years. For many of us, the zip code tabulation area will be the same as our zip code, but the areas are not always the same. Let's view the interactive map. The map shows health data under three main categories, health outcomes, prevention, and unhealthy behaviors. Across the categories, there are a total of 27 different measures of health and well-being. Under health outcomes, you'll find measures like asthma, COPD, heart disease, and mental health. Under prevention, there are annual checkups, cholesterol screenings, mammograms, and more. Lastly, under unhealthy behaviors, you'll find data for binge drinking, physical inactivity, and obesity. Let's dig into the map functionality. The maps work similar to Google Maps. Users can search for specific places. Users can also pan across geographic areas and zoom in and out. The zoom feature allows you to view data over large regions, like the entire country or an entire state, and to drill down to smaller regions, like counties and zip code tabulation areas. It's helpful to pin the legend to the side for reference as you navigate. As you zoom in, county layers will become invisible and census tracts and zip code tabulation areas will be available to turn on and off. When zoomed in further, the places and place boundaries will become available to turn on and off. You can click on the eye icon to turn on layers or hide them from view. So, now that you know the basics, how can you actually use this interactive map? Imagine you're working to improve health in South Texas, and you want to know where people with COPD and other chronic conditions live. Health-related challenges like COPD put people at increased risk for severe illness from diseases such as COVID-19. So let's start by looking at the COPD measure. Then, Let's go to the search button and type in Brownsville, Texas, which is a good starting point to look at South Texas. Note that this is a powerful search tool. You can search for states, counties, zip codes, and even specific addresses. So now we are in Brownsville. Let's first look at COPD by zip code tabulation area. We'll turn off the other layers to hide them from view. Once an area is clicked, a pop-up displays with the estimates for that selected area. In this example, estimates for Brownsville, Texas are displayed. So, you can see for this zip code tabulation area of 78520 that the estimated prevalence of COPD is 7.8%. To view how this rate compares to the nationwide average, Click over to the Legend tab. In this example, the average COPD prevalence, or the percent of the population estimated to have COPD, is 8.3%. You can easily see the differences in COPD rates for neighboring areas by comparing colors from the legend. You can also view the data by census tract. Click the eye icon to turn layers on and off. This gives a much more granular view of the variations in estimated prevalence of COPD within Brownsville. Note that when more than one layer is turned on or geographic areas are very close together, multiple pop-ups may be available. Click the arrow key at the right corner to see each of them. By clicking on the docking icon, you can also move the pop-up. When viewing a metric, at the county zip code tabulation area 
or tracked level, you can also switch between measures within the selected category. So, beyond COPD, let's say you want to observe rates of heart disease and diabetes to see whether there are hot spots where all three outcomes are more highly prevalent. Click on the layer to select Census Tract and zoom into Census Tract. Stay zoomed in and toggle across the health outcomes, such as heart disease and diabetes, to compare rates. Here, you begin to see patterns and how certain neighborhoods in central Brownsville may be at higher risk for chronic conditions. This information can be very useful in determining where to target your public health resources. Now, let's go back to COPD and look at the city level, or places. Again, we'll turn off the other layers. Places are represented by circles on the map. Let's check out Read Hope King as an example. For places, the size of the circle is based on the total population, and the color of the circle is based on the estimated prevalence of the metric selected. Read Hope King has a total population of less than 1,000, as indicated by the small size of the circle, and a COPD prevalence of 8.4, as indicated by the color of the circle. Again, you can see the variation in the estimated prevalence of COPD across places by comparing colors. You can turn on the census tract view to further see the variation. To see the geographical area of a place, you can turn on the place boundaries. Think of these as city limits. Here, they are represented in red. Another feature is that you can customize the maps. The base map feature enables you to change the map display. Once you've finished with the interactive map, click back to the main Places website for additional resources. From here, you can compare data by county. Download the data, learn about our methodology, find help, and more. You can also subscribe to receive places updates by email. As you explore the new site, please stay in touch. Email places at cdc.gov to ask questions and keep us posted on how places is helping you learn more about how where you live matters to your health.